jacks and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle. Better just say so if this is it. They say I've got Jewish honey in my voice. Jewish honey is mucus. But I thought you made a lot of money here. I used to, but it's all gone downhill since Muriel died. She could get away with overcharging people. Is opening and closing the cash register a bunch of times helping business yet? No. Okay, then we'll do other. Says buy one, get one free. Get one free? Wow! What store are you talking about? Excuse me, I have been waiting for my prescription for 25 minutes. Oh, I'm really sorry, Miss Dumont. We'll have to... <laughs> I, I got a wicked boner. This was a great idea, Peter. We fly this thing over Providence. Goldman's Pharmacy. Now that could be a good place to get new shoes for my dog. From at Jenny94, water seriously cold, yo. Here's at the Ted69. I'm gonna survive this, LOL JK. JK indeed. Oh God, I'm ruined. No pussy. They took what should have been a pleasant experience and made it into an ordeal. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't come. Nobody sees us, and we don't tell anybody, then we're in a clear. Well, I guess I did kind of destroy your business, Mort. All right, then let's do it, tomorrow night. Good. I'm just gonna have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up. Pensatory merchandise. Dear stuffed shirts at Ritz Crackers. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link, just as a box of crackers is only as appealing as its least intact sleeve. I am paying for fully formed crack. Oh my god, we did it! Okay, well, I'm sorry for your loss, but the good news is your insurance will be covering all of your damages. You hear what he said, fellas? Looks like we pulled it off. Yeah, for now. But I still got a bad feeling. He's gonna find something, I just know it. Will you relax? We got an ironclad. I was really sorry to hear about the pharmacy. Oh, thank you, Joe. I was very, very sorry, too. Yeah, Joe, the insurance guy said it was an accident. Yeah, he seemed pretty smart. His shirt was tucked in, so I bet he went to Harvard. Well, you're my friend, Mort. I want you to know that I'm going to personally... Right it was. Why did I ever agree to do this? This isn't who I am. I looked in the mirror this morning, and it, it was like I was looking at a man I'd never seen before. Hi. Scott Bakula. Just take it easy, Quagmire. There's nothing to worry about. About the pharmacy. Don't you worry, Mort. We'll get to the bottom of this. I, I don't like this, you guys. This is bad. Joe's gonna find out. I just know it. He's Quagmire. You need to relax. And I know how to help. Cal gone? Ta well, that's too bad. I was looking forward to giving you your birthday present next week. Oh. A apparently there was a mistake. Forget I called. Guys, I gotta become chief of police by next week. Gee. Probably about 7 or 7.30. <sighs> Any of those places would be... Peter? Peter? Hello? I'm getting very little work done! You guys, I just can't take this anymore. I've been giving it a lot of thought, and I got it, Quagmire and Mort. You know who I don't miss is Joe. That's a piece of evidence that hurts all of us. You three are under arrest for burning down Goldman's pharmacy. Well, the pocket dial giveth and the pocket dial taketh away. You'll never take me alive! What were you doing the night of March 8th? <laughs> your mother. Come on, man, that's not cool. Oh, yeah? Maybe this is cool enough for you. It's gonna take a lot more than a fart in my face to make... Lois! Peter, what's going on? Is it true? Did you really burn down Mort's pharmacy? Hi, Lois. Hi. Look, Lois, we were just trying to help Mort. Peter, how could you do this? You have a family. Did you ever stop to think about...
about us before you did something that could send you away to prison. I get that a lot. I understand. Look, Mort was in trouble. We, we were just trying to help him out. Well, insurance fraud is not the way to help somebody out. Listen, Joe, insurance agencies are all scumbags. They deserve to get hurt. You don't decide that. What you did is against the law. We also have a wheelchair. Sixty dollars. Okay. They're going with B. Those sons of bitches made it about money. Yeah, Joe. So what do you say? They... Peter, I don't understand how they just let you out of jail. Yeah, Joe had all kinds of evidence against you guys. Seems like a huge miscarriage of justice. Well, I thought if you do something wrong, you're supposed to get punished. Oh, Chris. Hold this device, Paul. It's an iron rung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. Wow! $26! I've never seen so much money at one time! What do you think we should do with it? I say we buy $26 worth of ice cream and just pig out. Oh, we can dish, talk about- Money! What man? Hey, he was wearing a Jimmy Carter mask, like that robber in that Keanu Reeves movie. The Matrix. No, 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 it wasn't that recent. It was the one where they were jumping out of a plane. Executive decision. No, that was with Kurt Russell, but, but the other guy- <laughs> A new lease on life. Don't you understand? I lost the perp. I lost the perp. Twenty six dollars would probably be safe in my room. <laughs> right. Probably get lost among the pinups of Justin Timberlake and Tom Cruise and and uh Lost with the devil of the teenagers like that. Uh, ah! Peter Bonnie says Joe's been really depressed about that robbery. Why don't you go talk to him? Well, I don't know. There's a game on. Shame on you. You. Hey, hey, what do you say you and me go roller skate? Bike ride. Jump rope. Go lay on the grass? Peter, the other day was the first time I've ever lost a perp. And would like to challenge yourself and raise your self esteem? Sign up today. Sure, that's it. You gotta compete in the special people's games. Gosh, I I don't know, Peter. Do you really think I can? Hey, I'm the guy to believe you can fellow in the steam room. You don't say. Give him a cauliflower ear. Bully! Come on, come on, come on. Two more. Peter, you're pushing me too hard. Yeah, trust me, Joe. I know physical fitness. I was in Richard Simmons' sweat from the waist down. I know. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, God, I was standing out there for like ten minutes. I... <laughs> Woo, boy. I'm sorry. Aisle three next to the creams. Oh, I don't like saying that word. We now return to Touched by an Angel. Now, where exactly did the angel touch Meg in a two-piece swimsuit? Oh! God, I pray this is not my first memory. Look, everybody cool it. I am not gonna put up with this racket for two weeks. I'll hold on to the money. I'm a neutral party, so it'll be safe. Some of Quahog's finest athletes struggle valiantly against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you'll cry, you might even get a cheap laugh or two. I know I will, Tom. In fact, there's the distinct possibility that by the end of the... We turn our attention to the lighting of the flame. And these games are underway. We begin with a 100-meter dash for people afraid of yellow tape. Both know you have what it takes to win this thing. So get out there and do it, eh? The gold medal is mine, pretty boy. You don't have a chance in hell. He may be right, Peter. Joe, he's an android. Way to go, Joe! Yeah! How do you like that, buddy? A shaker says what? What? Ha 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 ha. You stupid bastard. I thought we were just having a perfectly innocent conversation about literature. Oh, you're silly. You're silly. I, I love that you'd go there. You're, you're silly. Goodbye. We'll take you the gold. He's going to have to come in first in the final event, the 100-meter dash. Oh, that's okay, Joe. You can still win this thing. That was pathetic. Tell your wife to come over to my place if she wants a little... After losing millions of dollars of his father's friend's money in failed oil companies? No! Did he quit after knocking that girl up? No! Did he quit after he got that DUI? No! Did he... Bloody Gita, moving me down the highway. Uh, gee, Peter, this water tastes kind of funny. Uh, 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 y you mean like... <laughs> yeah! And Joe Swanson wins the gold medal. You did it, Joe! We did it, Peter! <laughs> I, I 
just, I don't understand how he could do that without me. We, we were gonna do everything together. It, it was one serial ad, Peter. Besides, he's the one who won the medal. Yeah, I guess. Joe, you've got to accept your limitations. Why don't you just ask me to lay down and die? I can't live like this anymore. That's it. This. Joe wouldn't be famous if it hadn't been for me. How come he's getting all the glory? Well, he's handicapped. That's what makes his story so inspirational. Handicapped? Hmm. Ah! How did... Lennon. John, have you met Yoko? Yoko, John? You want your money? Fine. I hope you all kill each other. All right, I know how to settle this. Whoever wants the money... Raise your hand! TV movie based on me starring Valerie Burton Ernie. But, Mr. Griffin... Uh, uh, I even got the first piece you're gonna run. Exclusive video footage of my tragic accident. Oh, no! A car going too fast to stop and... Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon... Today, my friend Peter... Peter Yarrow, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Let's give them a hand, folks. But that's nothing compared to what this next man did. I didn't even do anything. That's it. Excuse me, 